All right, guys, we've got Russell in our sights. Now all we have to do is take him down and make sure the charges stick. What's going on, everybody? The NATO Skyro here, and today I'm bringing you another episode of Octopath Traveler. In the last episode, we picked up Cyrus in Atlas Dam and started off on his Chapter 1, making it through all the story and cutscenes. And now all that's left for us to do is go take on Russell in a subterranean study. Cyrus's Chapter 1 Boss. Now, before I head off, I'm going to make sure I get some equipment for Cyrus. Because otherwise, he's probably going to die instantly. And we also have to give him a secondary job, actually. What should I do? You know what? Cyrus makes an absolutely fantastic merchant, but he's not so bad as a dancer as well. He does get a slightly higher elemental attack bonus as a dancer. But I think he would be less... I think he would be more versatile if we made him a merchant. Because a dancer only has buffs and does dark damage here and there. But a merchant has a lot more general skills that I feel we could put to a lot better use. And plus, I'm going to make Ophelia a dancer sooner or later anyway. So I think I'll make Cyrus a merchant. Oh man, I just hope this will be a good choice. Job currently filled by Therion. Yeah, we won't need him for a while anyway. All right, so Cyrus now has merchant skills at his disposal, which means he now has access to wind magic. All right. Now, let's get him some equipment. He's going to need a bow, a staff, and a spear. All right, what have we got? We've got this arcane glaive. I think it'll have to do for a spear. So we'll give that to him. And we'll give him this mage's staff. All right, now for armor, we can give him a round shield, although we do have four of them, so I guess there's no need to waste our money on that. And you know what? Let's give him a circlet. Why not? And let's also give him a fur coat. Actually, yeah, let's give him a fur coat. I almost forgot that Ophelia had one, so I almost ended up buying two of them. All right, let's also give him an empowering earring and a stimulating earring. So I'll buy one of each. All right, let's make sure Cyrus's equipment is all good and set to go. I can't give him any of these because that would be kind of cheating. So he's going to be stuck with a makeshift bow for now, for better or worse. All right, a round shield. Now, what else? Damn it. There was something else I wanted to give him and I completely forgot. Oh, well. Maybe it'll come to me later on. For now, let's give him the two earrings that we've bought. So we can get him some more HP and some more SP, which he'll definitely be needing. Alright, stimulating earring. Alright, there we go. You should be all kitted out for now. Now let's go take a rest at the inn, so that Cyrus will be all topped up on HP and SP. Thankfully, it looks like when you're in a Chapter 1, sleeping at the inn is free, so that's good to know. Let's go check Cyrus's stats. All right. So, Cyrus appears to have extremely high elemental attack and elemental defense, but he seems to have somewhat low speed, although Ophelia has definitely a lower base speed. Cyrus does have incredibly low HP. I'm pretty sure he has the lowest base HP of all eight of the Travelers, or at least one of the lowest. And, as we've come to expect, his physical attack isn't very high, so. Alright, let's go check his equipment, though. Because, yeah, his elemental attack is insanely high. With that staff of his. And his physical attack isn't half bad, either, with the arcane glaive. Alright, let's hope for the best. I hope Cyrus will fare well, given he is only level 1, but we'll have to see what happens. Alright, into the subterranean study. You know what, I think I'll take off evasive maneuvers. Because we're gonna need to get Cyrus up to a decent level, so that way he won't be knocked out in two seconds. 
Man, I just hope I'm making the right decision here. This is really nerve-wracking. I mean, I know Ophelia is definitely going to have a decent chance at survival, but... Alright, study foe, huh? Well then. So, that Ice Sentinel. Have we encountered one of those before? I wouldn't be surprised if we have. Alright, what can we do here? Right, I forgot to mention, Cyrus has a talent of study foe. At the beginning of every battle, he will uncover the weakness of... He will uncover one weakness of every foe on the battlefield. So, that's something, I guess. Should we go for a Luminescence? Should we go for a Holy Light? Because we've got two Ambling Bones, and one Ice Sentinel, and one Fire Sentinel. I wouldn't be surprised if they're weak to different things. Alright, um... Christ, this is a bit of a hard choice. Oh man, you know what? Against... no. That... It's hard to say what's going to be the right move here. Because I have no freaking clue what I can do. Because I'm worried about Cyrus's survivability, first and foremost. He doesn't have much HP, and he's relatively low level, too. And I'm not sure if we can one-shot those Ambling Bones even with a level 2 Luminescence. I can try out a Holy Light, which might be slightly more powerful, but even so... Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, Alright, looks like we did one-shot it. Alright, good. Cyrus lives to see another day. Alright, let's get rid of the Ambling Bones here. Given that this is Cyrus's Chapter 1, it should be weak to staves. Alright, good. Alright, looks like Cyrus is holding it is uh, holding up pretty well. Alright, let's get this Fire Sentinel out of the way. Alright, let's finish off with the Firestorm. Nice! Alright, good work, team. Alright, Cyrus is now level 3 and Ophelia is now level 13. Great work, guys. Alright, so that kind of boosted my confidence up a bit. I think we might actually do pretty fine. But I won't let my guard down just yet. Flame, protect us. Well then. All right, looks like we've got two regular sentinels and another ambling bones here. What could those sentinels be weak to? It's hard to say. They might not be weak to anything elemental. I'll just get rid of the Ambling Bones while I can. Alright, there we go. An interesting dynamic. Looks like we're taking these hits pretty well. They might be weak to Fire or Ice, but they could also just be weak to Staves and have- Yeah, they're just weak to Staves. They are not weak to anything Elemental. I'll do my best! What is the logical course I'll have Ophelia take care of these Sentinels next turn with an Elemental attack. All right, let's finish this off with a blizzard. Nice. I hope I grow more again. All right, Cyrus is now level four. Cyrus can learn one new skill, it looks like, so I'm going to give him... Uh, it's hard to say what I should give him. You know what, let's give him Analyze, considering that uh, Ophelia doesn't have Analyze and won't be able to learn Analyze for a long while. In fact, I don't know if she'll ever be able to learn Analyze, considering we're going to take her off the Scholar job pretty soon. Alright, let's have Ophelia learn Heal more. And we will get a new support skill, Persistence. Alright, nice! Now, what should I have Cyrus learn? You know what? Given that we won't have enough time to have him learn all of the two-hit moves, Firestorm, Blizzard, and Lightning Blast, I think we'll just have him learn Analyze. Alright, let's have Ophelia equip Persistence. 
All status enhancements you receive will last for one additional turn. That seems pretty nice. Definitely take that. Alright, let's keep pressing onward. Don't think I'll need any of the chests around here. Ah, uh, look, there's Russell up ahead. Alright, let's take a save here, because you can never be too careful. Alright, let's keep heading onward. I've done my research on you. Alright, so what have we got here? We've got an Ice Wisp and a Fire Wisp, as long as as well as two more ambling bones. I'd hazard a guess that the Fire Wisp is weak to uh, ice. And the Ice Wisp might also be weak to dark, but we don't have dark magic available to us right now. Alright. Let's try a holy light on this ambling bones here in the front. Oh, Alright, there we go. That's taken care of. Fire sand. Alright, looks like that didn't do much. Alright, what should we do now? Alright, I think I'll just choose to break one of those guys. Should we break the ice wisp? Yeah, we probably should, because it's going to get to move next. There we go. Alright, now let's break the fire wisp. Oh, that kind of just took out everybody. Holy crap, Ophelia Strong. I'm starting to doubt Ophelia when she says that she isn't made for such battles. She might be relatively well made for these battles. Alright, let's give everybody healing grape and inspiriting plums as needed. Cyrus is now level 5, which is always nice to see. Now, let's go take on Russell. What are you up to? Uh, uh, what? Professor Albright? Are you always in the habit of barging into your peers' offices while they're working? Excuse me. My apologies. I would have knocked, but... I didn't see a door. A moment of your time. Apropos of nothing, mayhap you've heard that a certain tome was stolen from the archives. <clears throat> I haven't the faintest clue what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what they all say. Come now. Playing dumb is just gonna drag this out for the both of us. So let's cut straight to the heart of the matter. You're a thief. And I can prove it. <clears throat> what the hells you can? The truth is... Unfortunately for you, at precisely the moment you were trying to sneak back with the key, your friend the guardsman was just waking up from his little slumber. Uh, huh? But that's I... impossible. <laughs> he was asleep. I'm positively... Ugh. Uh -huh. Keeping up on our friend's somnolence, are we, old chum? Mm. It was a slip of the tongue. I tell you, I know nothing about this god's damned book. Is that so? Figured you'd say as much. Then perhaps you'd care to accompany me to the academy. To prove your innocence, of course. <gasps> Damn it! Damn it all the hell! It was the perfect plan. If not for your bloody meddling, I could have had it all. I don't think this one will listen to reason. Uh, I'd say the same. My turn now. All right, it's a battle against Russell and two water wisps. Apparently, looks like Russell is weak to staves. The w I have no idea what the water wisps might be weak to. I doubt they're weak to fire, but they might be weak to lightning. Russell, however, might be weak to fire, because after all, I've yet to meet a man who didn't burn. Let's try out some fire. Flames, burn this away. 
Oh, the Water Wisps are weak to fire? That's new. Looks like we're weathering this damage pretty well. Alright, we'll wait until Cyrus can be fully boosted to use Analyze here. Alright, looks like Russell is the one weak to ice, strangely enough. Alright. What else can we do? You know what? Let's just hit them with another fireball. Ophelia appears to take slightly less damage than Cyrus does, but overall it looks like we're handling this pretty well, if I'd say so myself. Alright, let's use one more fireball. Alright. And we should be all prepared next turn to use a maxed boosted firestorm on the Water Wisps. Alright, let's do this. Nice! Over 2,000 damage to both of them. Alright, let's analyze this guy. Okay, looks like Russell has about 4,100 HP left, and he's weak to swords, daggers, staves, ice, and wind. Oh, luckily for us, Cyrus does have access to wind magic. Tome Toss. Oh, that didn't do much of anything. Alright. Let's, uh, actually, let's get the Knight Ardant here. Nice. We've got a third party member to work on this guy's shields. That's just what I needed. Alright. Looks like Cyrus might need a little topping up on HP, but I think he can go a little more. Alright. Let's keep using trade wins here. And let's have Ophelia keep using Blizzard. Nice job. Russell is muttering an incantation, huh? Alright, let's give Ophelia an Energizing Pomegranate. And let's break this guy with our staff. Nice! Alright, let's max out a trade wins here. 962 damage, huh? Well, it's hard to compare to Ophelia, considering since she's level 12 and has elemental augmentation on. So maybe that is a lot of damage for him. I have no idea. Alright, let's max out a blizzard here. Nice! Looks like that took him out right away. Alright, Cyrus is now level 6. I swear I never meant to. I just needed the money. Just so. That tome would fetch a small fortune. This is true. And yet, did you not for a moment consider the consequences? Say it is not so. In stealing that tome, you would steal from our students something more valuable than all the realm's riches. A grave crime no matter who would perpetrate it, but all the more unforgivable when committed by one who calls himself a scholar. Thank you. Well, I'll be. Who actually did crack the case of the stolen book. Indeed. That I did. And yet, I fear this may not be the only volume our friend had purloined. <laughs> Russell has already confessed to the full extent of his crimes, and revealed the names of his business associates. We need only track down the books and purchase them back. I'll speak to the guards and see that we redouble security of the archives. Hmm? What's this? It says there's another book still missing. Did that scoundrel of a scholar steal this one as well? Ah, from the far reaches of hell. No, I can assure you that he did not. It's been missing for some 15 years now. 
Russell's aggressive borrowing only extends some two years back. I see. So this volume was lost, or stolen, long before that. Yes. Right as always, Professor. Pray tell me more about from the far reaches of hell. According to our records, it would seem to be a compendium of ancient rites and long-lost magics. Actually... If I am not mistaken, it was the single oldest volume housed within our archives. Needless to say, it was a tremendous loss. Most intriguing. Oh ho, yet another mystery would seem. Professor Albright, the headmaster would speak with you at once. Is autumn this? Again? What could it be this time? Christ, it seems like there's no end in sight for this guy. Perhaps he plans to commend you for your role in apprehending the library thief. I have no interest in accolades, but if he insists... Alright, let's speak with the Royal Academy's headmaster. Into the Royal Academy of Atlas Dam. All right, Mr. Headmaster, what do you want this time? I've brought Professor Albright, as asked, sir. And why does the Headmaster's assistant sound like some sort of weird AI digital assistant? Good. Enter. Her voice is so monotone. Thank you, Lucia. Yes, Headmaster. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Don't tell me we've accidentally cited another book in the Special Archives again. Something tells me he's not about to offer a commendation. Yeah, I can definitely see that. Professor Albright, a most troubling report has reached my ears. Oh dear, I don't like the sound of that. A report, sir? An anonymous source claims that you have abused your prestigious position to enter into an illicit relationship with Her Highness the Princess. That's... not a good accusation to be the target of, to say the least. God damn, who the hell... Oh, oh don't tell me it was Therese. And you believe this report, sir? Yeah, seriously! I'm pretty sure you'd know Cyrus well enough to know that he'd never do something like that. If it is untrue, then say so. Why, it is unfounded, unsubstantiated, balderdash of the highest order! Jesus Christ! I think that's the angriest we'll ever see Cyrus in this game. I would like to take your words at face value, Professor. But I fear the situation is not so simple. A rumor regarding the royal family, even an unsubstantiated one such as this, is sure to spread quickly. That can't be good. If we do not take swift action, Princess Mary's good name could be forever sunk. So what, do you just intend to fire us from the academy? That is something that simply cannot be allowed to happen. Surely you understand. And so what do you intend to do with me, sir? It is not an easy decision to make. Dismissing you outright would be tantamount to an admission of guilt. If I may be so bold, Headmaster, what about a sabbatical? Professor Albright has put on extended leave, while official accounts state that he's doing field work in a distant land. Huh. Doesn't seem like too bad of a compromise. Although given the opportunity, I'd rather we get to stay here. What say you, Cyrus? 
This way, both the Academy's reputation and your own will remain intact. My reputation? Do we have a problem, Professor? Not at all, Headmaster. On the contrary, this might prove the perfect opportunity. Opportunity? For what? As a matter of fact, there is a matter which has piqued my interest of late. I was just wondering when I might find the time to do a bit of research in the field. I think I will set forth on a journey. In search of an ancient tome that disappeared 15 years ago. All right, looks like Cyrus is going off to crack another case, as it were. Besides, if I am not permitted to share what I have learned with my peers and the public, there is little point in continuing my research here. Is that so? Do tell, Professor. What is it that you intend to investigate? I'd hesitate to tell him the truth, to be honest. Because I really don't trust this guy's intentions. As regards a certain tome. Now, if you will forgive me, I must begin packing for my journey. Alright, I guess Cyrus has been appropriately you, vague here. Let's hope that he just doesn't have anything up his sleeve. An enigma as ever, that one. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, it's you. Professor! Oh, Therese, what is it? I... I heard that you were leaving the Academy. Christ, news does spread fast, doesn't it? I can't... there's... How is it possible that s news of Cyrus's departure has reached Therese's ears so fast when it's presumably just happened? Then you heard true. From who? Who was she hearing this from? P Professor, I'm, I'm so sorry. I see. So you were the source of the rumor. <gasps> you... you knew? Not until just this moment, when you apologized. And yet, I cannot fathom your motive. Why would you tell such a terrible lie? Seriously, that is a grievous accusation to levy against someone. You're always helping Her Highness, answering her every question. I just wanted you to pay more attention to me. Oh, Therese. Whatever am I gonna do and with you? And that's why you went to the headmaster. Y yes, but I, I just wanted to get you in a little trouble. Well, I guess it's not all bad. I mean, Cyrus does go get to, uh, Cyrus does get to go investigate that tome that he's so interested in. I didn't think they would. I am so sorry, Professor. Can you ever forgive me? Worry not, my dear. It just so happens that I was looking for a good excuse to go on a journey. You were? For some time now, I've wanted to travel the realm and see what can be learned beyond these halls. I dare say the timing couldn't have been better. <laughs> I gotta give props to Cyrus for being able to see the silver lining here. You see, there's a certain matter I simply can't wait to investigate. So fret not, my girl. If anything, you've done me a favor. I guess that's one way of putting it. Besides, I am not entirely without fault in the matter. Indeed, 
I have not been as attentive to you as I should. Had I realized your true intention sooner, I would not be in this position. Although I think we can say that for pretty much any situation. If you can realize somebody's true intention sooner, there are a lot of situations you can get yourself out of. Professor, whatever do you... If only I had realized how devoted you were to your studies, my dear girl. My studies? I have always striven to treat all my students equally. And yet, Her Highness is always eager to ask questions, and I was all too eager to answer them. Perhaps that was the source of all this trouble. In doing so, I may have given the impression that I favored her above you and others. This was not my intention, but I am at fault all the same. I mean, hey, at least he apologized for it. No favoritism here. At least we cleared that up. And I also love the stance he's assuming right now. I do not understand why he's assuming that defend pose. I mean, it's not like he's fighting, Therese. Yes, if only I had seen you for the ardent and devoted young scholar that you are. Although I can't be surprised. I mean, suddenly, somebody who's studying at the Royal Academy definitely has to be of a substantial mind. <sighs> what is it now? Um, Professor, perhaps you're not quite as sharp as I thought you were. I have no idea what the hell you mean. Cyrus is probably the, one of the most brilliant minds of the entire academy. <sighs> Never mind. All right, whatever you say. In that case, I should be off. Pray do not shirk your studies, my girl. Yes, Professor. Will... will I ever see you again? Well, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to see us again. I mean, we've got some life olive stacked with us, so even if he dies... Provided we both still live. Cyrus doesn't even have to still live. He could die as many times as he wants along the journey, and we'll still have life olives to revive him. All right, let's head out of here. We've got places to be. Now, I must find out all I can about from the far reaches of hell. That's an uplifting title if I've ever heard one. My erstwhile colleague, Det, knows more about arcane studies than anyone I know. Last I heard, she sojourned in Quarry Quest. I should begin my journey there. Quarry Crest. In the Clifflands. Huh. What an interesting hooded figure we have pursuing us. Let's hope they don't have any ill wills. And so Cyrus left the Academy behind in search of the lost home. From the far reaches of hell, what dark secrets might its pages hold? Only the gods know. Alright. That will be all for this episode of Octopath Traveler, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you'll stay tuned for the next episode when we will make our way down to the coastlands, going off to Ripletide so we can go pick up Tressa and start her chapter one. Until then, though, I hope you guys have a great day and take care.